You disobey me! We can't just lock her away. Excuse me, sunshine. I am talking. You can forget that college nonsense. You're gonna come and work alongside me. Get your hands dirty for once. Oh, Lord. Will she ever stop? There, there, Rita, my sweets. Business as usual. Now, let's get these up all over the house. In honour of Her Majesty. But, Eddie, what if she's dying? I am talking! It's better. A little bit of hush. Hi! Who are you, then? Let's see, then, judge by the look of you. Found a man, nice house, decent wage, fought in the war, therefore I represent Queen and Country. Just doing a little check of our forthcoming Majesty's subjects for the great day. Don't mind if we come in. No, I didn't think you did. Thank you. Oh, uh, very nice. Very well kept. I'd like to congratulate you, Mrs. Connolly. Now then, Rita, I can handle this. This gentleman's a proper representative. Don't mind the wife, she rattles on a bit. Well, maybe she should rattle on a bit more. I'm not convinced you're doing your patriotic duty. Those flags. Why are they not flying? There we are, Rita. I told you. Get them up, Queen and Country. I'm sorry. Get it done. Do it now. Hold on a minute. Like the gentleman says. Hold on a minute. You've got hands, Mr. Connolly. Two big hands. So why is that your wife's job? Well, it's housework, isn't it? And that's a woman's job? Of course it is. Mr. Connolly, what gender is the Queen? She's a female. And are you suggesting the Queen does the housework? We can agree that all. Something recently made. No. Not at all. Then get busy. Right, yes, sir. You'll be proud of us, sir. Um, we'll have Union Jacks left, right and centre. Excuse me, Mr Connolly. Hang on a minute. Union Jacks? Yes, that's right, isn't it? That's the Union flag. It's the Union Jack only when it's flown at sea. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I do apologise. Oh, don't get it wrong again. There's a good man. Now get to it. Brian, nice and comfy, at Her Majesty's leisure. 